know it's not the same, but I just popped into the hot room to like adjust Sam's heat, and now it's like it's so cold in here. It's not <laughs> different vibes over there. <laughs> uh, cool. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome. You're late. Push-ups. Just kidding, <laughs> but not kidding because we'll do that. Um, what's up? My name's Chelsea. If I'm a new face to any of you. Um, most of us know each other, so that's great. <laughs> I'll be leading us through the next 75 minutes of our sculpt and stretch practice. Um, there is still a mask ordinance in effect in the state of Colorado. If you feel that it is unsafe for you to practice with your mask on or you have a medical condition, only you can exempt yourself from that. But please only within the four corners of your mat space. If you step off for any reason, um, make sure you put your mask back on. Uh, weight safety. Weights are always optional. If at any point you're like, no, thank you to these weights, um, no big deal, drop them. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Do you this morning, uh, you'll still get a great workout with or without the weights. If you do drop them, I like to just like kind of pretend like I have them so my hands have something to do and it's not just like a little noodle party. Um, if you do have them in your hands, a few things to keep our joints and body safe. Anytime you extend out from mid-body, keep a micro, really more than micro bend in your elbows, like a little W shape. Um, and a light grip on your weights. This will just ensure that your muscles are doing the work. You're not locking out through your elbows. When we transition, for the same reason, come in through center, press up, vice versa to come back out. Just avoid the swinging, windmilling-like action. Really tough on the rotator cuff. And there will be some times where we can keep the weights in our hands during a plank position or a modified uh, tabletop. Totally fine, as long as, most importantly, it feels okay. Um specifically on your wrists. Ideally, we have shoulders stacked over elbows, over wrists, and knuckles flush with the mat. If you find yourself rolling, or if it just feels a little wonky, you can just plant your hands and then grab the weights to use them as we need them. Great. Uh, cool. We'll get started in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch and your knees out wide to the edges of your mat space. Reach your fingertips forward and let your hips sink back towards your heels. Take a moment just to check in. Give yourself a little body scan. Notice anywhere that you're tight, craving some movement, craving some strength this morning. And take a moment to check in with your breath. Our breath is a hugely important tool in mostly everything we do in life, but especially in our sculpt practice. We wanna use open mouth exhales during sculpt will allow us to release heat. It will help to fire us up when the movements get challenging. It also creates a nice yogic mindfulness in the spicy practice that sculpt can be. So let's join our breath together. First exhale, let everything go through your mouth. Take a big juicy inhale, fill all the way up. Big sigh out. Great, again, just like that, even deeper inhale. Big audible exhale. One more deepest inhale of your morning. Big sigh, let it go. Really great. No rush at all. If you're still dropping in, if you feel ready, shift forward to a tabletop position. Start to take any organic movement that feels good. Friends at home, we will cue up our playlist with the first song, Disarm You, in three. In two, in one, press play. Really good options already. Does not matter at all what you do here or what it looks like. Just an opportunity for some free form movement. About three more rounds of breath to explore. Um, no rush if you're still enjoying this free form movement, but if you're ready, let's meet in a neutral tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. We'll join together for some cat cows. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your gaze and your tailbone high. Let your rib cage melt down towards the earth. Exhale, cat press and curl. Tuck your chin to your chest. Drive your spine up to the ceiling. Feel your shoulder blades pull apart. 
Inhale, cow pose. Gaze goes high. Spread through your collarbones. Exhale, cat press. Tuck everything in. Draw your navel towards your spine. One more round like that. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Curl it in. Just keep this shape. Tuck your toes if they aren't already and lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Just like in tabletop, any free form movement is good. Margie's already got requests. I'm just kidding. What's that? Yeah, of course. Good job. Yeah, you can pedal. You can sway. Shift forward and back. Three rounds of breath here. All right, when you're ready, meet in stillness in your down dog. Spread your fingers out super wide. Micro bend your knees. Lift the underside of your seat up farther towards the ceiling. Melt your chest towards your thighs and then pull your shoulder blades away from one another. Really nice. Inhale, gaze forward. Lift high on your tippy toes. Take 10 tiny controlled steps to the front for ragdoll. Feet land wide behind your wrists or all the way to the edges of your mat space. Grab opposite elbow. Maybe chest expansion behind your back or basket grip behind your head. You can rock or sway, bounce, bend and straighten through your knees. Take some twists. Again, whatever feels good is the right thing to do. Just make sure your neck is completely relaxed. Let your head hang heavy at the end of your spine, creating traction. Pulling your vertebra apart from one another. One more inhale. On your next exhale, release any hand grip you have. Toe heel your feet in so your big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into your shins or thighs. Lengthen your spine. Reach through the crown of your head. Exhale, forward fold. Gaze towards your navel. Inhale, mountain pose. Root to rise. Sweep your arms overhead. Dial your pinkies in. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. And pull your... Lower ribs towards your hip tips. Nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Cactus back bend. Goal post your arms. Squeeze your glutes. Reach through your heart. Inhale. Mountain pose. Exhale. Forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Micro bend your knees. Inhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen. Exhale. Plant your hands. Step back to plank and pause. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your heels over your toes. Think cat pose in your upper spine. Really puff up the space between your shoulder blades. Nice. Inhale, shift forward. Bring your shoulders past your wrists. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Keep your elbows in tight. Inhale, upward facing dog. Flip onto the top of your feet. Exhale, down dog. Send your hips up high. Nice. Know that you can always modify your vinyasas or anything else in class. Take what you need. We'll move through sun A like that. Two more times. Breath the movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Step, hop, maybe float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms overhead. This time, grab your left wrist. Exhale, sway to the right. Inhale, back through center. Switch your grip. Exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, back through center. Separate your hands. Exhale, cactus back bend. A little bigger this time. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back and take your flow your own way. Job, friends, one more time, just like that. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Grab your left wrist. Exhale, sway to the right. Inhale, back through center. Switch your grip. Exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, cactus back bend. Biggest one yet. Press your hips forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank and pause. First set of frog hops. Bend your knees. Hop forward. Lift your hands. Plant. Hop back. Big exhale at the top. Always an option. Step forward and back. One foot at a time. You will work all the same muscles. Once you're at the top, make sure that your toes are out, heels in, and heels planted firmly on the earth. If your heels are lifting, just widen your stance. Hover your hips in line with your knees. Take it fast or slow at your own pace, but let your heart rate start to rise. Nice job, friends. Great paces, great breath. Just four. Three. Down dog in two. 
And one downward facing dog. Nice job. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let something go. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sweep your arms overhead, sink your seat down and back and drive your weight into your heels. Maybe float your toes. One more inhale. Exhale, chair play and sweep your hands back, hinge your torso forward, magnetize your pinkies together. We'll flow that out, inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. One more. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. And hold. Stay right here. Or maybe lift your heels for drinking bird. Squeeze your ankles and calves together. Keep your core tight. Keep everything static or start to pulse your hips down. Pulse. 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 Just four. Three. Back to chair in two. And one, chair pose, drop your heels, sweep your arms overhead, press your palms together, bring them to your heart center, drive your weight into your right foot, lift under your left toes. All right, we'll tap our left leg. Out, in, out, in. Firmly press your hands together to keep your chest proud. Out, in, tap, release, exhale, inhale. Can you sink a little lower in your right knee? Ooh, yeah. Out. In, tap, tap, just four, three, we'll speed it up in two, and one, out, in, out, in, tap, 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 just four, three, two, one, meet in center, press your weight into your left foot, lift onto your right toes, other side, tap it out. In, out, in, tap, release, exhale, inhale, sink as low as you can in your left knee, let it burn. Again, keep your shoulder blades together on your back, chest proud, tighten your core. Tap, release, exhale, inhale. Just four, three. We'll speed it up in two, and one, out, in, out, in, tap, tap, as low as you can, tap, 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 almost there, stick with it, stay low, just four, three, two, and one, mountain pose, shake it out, okay, bring your hands back to heart center, toe heel your feet out, a little wider than hip width, all 10 toes forward, basic squat. Bring it down and lift. Inhale, exhale, lower and squeeze. Drive your weight into your heels. Pull your booty down and back to draw your knees behind your toes at the bottom. Squeeze your glutes together like crazy at the top. Big exhale as you lift. Now and throughout class, feel free to slow anything down to focus on your form. Just four, three. We'll add a heel lift in two. And one, add a heel lift at the top. Squeeze your calves, press the tops of your feet forward. Just four, three, hold it low in two, and one, hold your squat low, pulse to the left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center. Keep it as low as you can the entire time. Left, center, right, center. Just four, three, Two, and one, shake it out, step your left leg back, inhale, crescent lunge, sweep your arms overhead, pull your right hip back, exhale, hinge forward, torso forward, fingertips towards the mirror, set up hyzons, pull it in, back. Big exhale as you squeeze it in. Stay low in your right knee, fast or slow.
Let it burn. Your right side should say, no, thank you. No more. Keep pushing. Just four. Three. Back to crescent in two. And one crescent lunge. Keep it low. Whew. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Lift really high on the ball mound of your left foot. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Slice it open. Warrior two. Plant your back foot. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Inhale. Flip your left palm. Reverse your warrior, stay for a round, feel your right side body open. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Hands come wide, let's get them out of the way, wide arm push-ups. Bring it down, press, lower, lift, inhale, exhale. These can be done from your knees or your toes. Down, press, lower, squeeze. Keep your hips in one, even plane with your shoulders, whether you're on your toes or your knees. Big exhale to help you press up. Just four. Three. Pulse it low in two. Little pulse. 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 Tiny movement. Pulse. 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 Just four. Three. Two. And one. Downward facing dog. Woo. Great work. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale. Gates forward. Exhale, journey to the top, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, just one breath up. Press your palms together, bring them to our center. Toe heel your feet out, back to our basic squat. Bring it down, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower, squeeze. Just like before, drive your weight into your heels. Maybe float your toes off the mat. Squeeze your glutes like crazy at the top and energetically pull your heels away from one another to fire up the outer line of your legs and your glutes. Pull your knees back behind your toes. Big exhale at the top. Just four. Three. We'll add a hop in two. And one at a hop at the top. This does not feel good on your knees. Come back to the heel lift or stick with your basic sweat. Big exhale at the top to help you launch up. Get it, Natalie. Really nice options, friends. Stick with your breath. Just four. Three. Hold it low in two. And one. Hold your squat low. This time it's pulse and freeze. Pulse and freeze. Pulse and freeze. Really squeeze your heels away from one another. Pulse and freeze. Pulse and freeze. Pulse and freeze. Almost there. Just four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out. Step your right leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hinge forward. All right, back to our Heisman. We'll pull it in, back. Big exhale as you draw your knee in towards your belly. Keep your arms by your side. Woo. Spicy one. Nice breath. Stick with it. Stay low in your left knee. Let it burn. Nice control, Emmett. Just four. Three, two, crescent lunge. Step your right leg back, arms overhead. Sell your left hip back, right hip forward. Stack your back heel over your toes. One more inhale. Exhale, slice it open. Warrior two, chest and hips face the white wall. Gaze over your left fingertips. Inhale, flip your palm. Reverse your warrior. Stay for the round. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Hands come wide. Final set, wide arm push-ups. Lower, press, inhale. Exhale, same as before, from your knees or toes. Up to you. Big exhale to help you press it up. Awesome work, Sabrina. I know it's hard. That feeling is you getting stronger. Just four. Three. Hold it low at the bottom in two. And one, just static hold low. Hold it. Hold it. Keep breathing. You're strong. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're facing dog. Hoo-wee. 
Are we warm? <sighs> All right. Take a big juicy inhale. Exhale, let something go. <sighs> All right. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Grab your light set of weights. Come to standing. Bring your feet hip width. We'll sit into a wide chair. Drive your weight into your heels. Bring your elbows to 90 degrees. Opposite arm extension. Left forward, right back. Right forward, left back. Again, slow it down if you need to. Squeeze your back tricep to help lift your weight past your hips. Big exhale every time you extend. Awesome work. Stay low in your wide chair. Amazing focus. Just four, three, two, and one. Bring your weights to your shoulders. Come to standing. All right, we'll squat to the left. Shoulder press, right, shoulder press, left, press right and press again slow it down if you need to any pace is perfect if you're focusing on your form option to alternate one arm at a time as you come through center if your upper body is getting fatigued press evenly between both feet as you squat out to the left and right keep your weight in your heels big exhale through center to press it up Just four, three, two, and one. Step your left leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Press your weights straight up over your shoulder. Exhale, weights through center. Open up, warrior two. Heads of your weights up. Little W in your arms. Really nice. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right weight goes straight up. Exhale, pull through center. Pivot, plant. Keep your weights. Come to a plank position. We'll do, I don't know what to call them. I call them cross dog taps. So take your right weight, come to down dog, tap your left toes, back through plank, opposite side. You don't have to make it all the way to your toes. That's just the direction we're aiming for. Come back to a really solid, strong plank through center every time. Nice work. Just four, three, two, and one downward facing dog. Nice work. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Grab your light set of weights. If you drop them, come to standing. Back to our wide chair. Second set, same movement. Opposite arm extensions, side to side. Extend, center. Extend, center. Keep your torso hinged forward and your core super tight. Long, strong spine the entire time. Press, center, exhale, inhale. Way to stick with your breath. Just four, three, two, and one. Come to standing, arms straight, palms face your body. Squat to the left, upright row. Squat to the right, upright row. And big exhale through center. As you upright row, weights trace your body, come up to your shoulders. Again, press evenly between both feet as you squat side to side. Avoid leaning to one side or the other. Slow it down as much as you need to. Just like before, you can alternate one arm at a time if you need a little less for your upper body. Way to take your own paces. Amazing work. Just four. Three. Crescent in two. And one, crescent, step your right leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge, press your weight straight up. 
I can't wait to center. Open up a warrior two. Light grip on your weights. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pull through center. Pivot, plan. Ditch your weights. Step back. Plank jacks. Jacket out, in, out, in. Option to tap out one side at a time. If the jumping feels like a lot on your knees or you want to slow it down, totally up to you. Just four, three, down dog in two, and one downward facing dog. Great work. Nice work. All right. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Grab your heavy set of weights. Come to standing. All right. Drive your weight into your right foot. Arms in front of your body. Palms face in. Flex your left toes. There will be a lateral lift. Center, knee drive, hammer curl, release, lift, and curl. Keep your left toes flexed the entire time. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Lead with your heel as you lateral lift. Almost dial your toes down. Your lateral lift does not need to be huge. If you have a strong, engaged leg, you can lift your leg two inches and you will feel it. Bring your left knee in line with your hip as you knee drive through center. Just four, three, hold your left knee up in two, and one, elbows to 90 degrees. Hold your left knee up, pulse your weight up, up, pulse, pulse, pulse. Just four, three, two, and one. Bring your weights to your shoulders. Curtsy, set up. Step your left leg behind your right. It's pulse, 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 knee to elbow. Pulse, 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 crunch it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. pulse. Squeeze. Land really high on the ball mound of your back foot. Focus on bringing your knee up to your elbow as opposed to crunching your elbow down to your knee. Great breath, Camille. Y'all are crushing it. Just four. Three, crescent in two, and one. Take your time to get there. Step your left leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Press your weight straight up. Exhale, weights through center. Open up, warrior two. All right, shift forward, extended side angle. Bring your front forearm to your front thigh. Extend your other arm straight. <laughs> weight faces your body. Lawn mower row, release. Exhale. Inhale, pull, extend. Use your forearm to track your knee back over your ankle. Row, release, exhale, inhale. Ugh. Row, release. Just four, three. Two, and one, inhale, start pose, stretch it out. Whew. Weights come to your shoulders. All right, squat, punch forward, squat, punch back, alternating side to side. Pivot on your back foot, whatever direction you punch, chest and hips go the direction of your punch. Punch across your body, keep your core tight. Come back to your squat alignment in between. Drive your weight into your heels. Slow this down as much as you want or need. Big exhale on the punch. Just four. Three. Stick with it for two. And one. Inhale, star pose. Stretch it all out. Exhale, weights through center. Open up, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pull, pivot, plant, weighted burpees, step back to plank, hop it forward, 
come to standing with the shoulder press, bring it down and back. Always an option to step forward and step back one foot at a time. Sit your weights, do a traditional burpee. Come back to your frog hop. As long as you are breathing or and moving, you're doing the right thing. Almost there. Really nice, Kristen. Just four, three, two, and one. Meet at the top of your mat space. Grab your heavy set of weights if you ditch them. Drive your weight into your left foot. Same movement, other side. Flex your right toes. It's lateral lift, center, knee drive, hammer curl, release. Lift and curl. Lift, center, curl, release. Flex your right toes the entire time. Lead with your heel as you lateral lift. Bring your weight towards your shoulders as you hammer curl. Awesome. Breath and focus and balance. Y'all are amazing. You are almost there. Squeeze your right side butt like crazy as you lateral lift. Just four. Three. Hold your right knee up in two. And one. Hold your right knee up. This time, flip your palms towards the ceiling. Pulse your weight up. Pulse. 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 Check your shoulders over your hips. Pulse. 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 Flex your right toes. Keep them engaged. Pulse. Pulse, just four, three, two, and one. Bring your weight to your shoulders, curtsy set up. Step your right leg behind your left. Pulse, 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 knee to elbow. Pulse, 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 crunch it up. Pulse, 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 lift. Again, land really high on the ball mount of your right foot like you're wearing a crazy high stiletto as you curtsy to protect your knee joint. Lift your knee as high as you can towards your elbow at the top. Really nice, Carol. Y'all are almost there. Just four, three, two, and one. Step your right leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, pull through center. Open up, warrior two. Nice, stay for an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, front forearm towards your thigh. Top, weight down. Row, release. Lawn mower, extend. Exhale, inhale. Keep your chest open towards me. Avoid curling down towards the earth too much. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze. Release. Press into the knife edge, the pinky toe edge of your back foot. Pull. Extend. Almost there. Just four. Three. Two. And one, inhale, start pose, stretch it all out. Woo. Bring your weight to your shoulder. This time it's squat, uppercut, squat, uppercut, squat, uppercut, squat, and punch it out. You want really controlled uppercuts. Drive your weights forward and back. Again, pivot on your back toe, the opposite direction of what you're punching to protect your knee joint. We never want to plant and pivot. Really nice, Nick. Get it, Colleen. I see those deep squats in between. Woo! Really great form, Autumn. You're almost there. Just four. Three. Star pose in two. And one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, weights through center. Open up a warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pull through center. 
Pivot. Plank. All right, slight change up on our weighted burpees. From plank, we'll do a back kick, back kick, hop it forward. Same thing, just two leg lifts in your plank. If that's just not serving you, skip it. Do a traditional weighted burpee or a non-weighted burpee or literally any other plank work you want. Loving the extra pulses, Mina. Give me 10 more seconds. Really awesome option, Sabrina. Just four. Three. Meet at the top of your mat space in two. And one. We take a sip of water. Small sips. Give yourself a second. Friends at home, we're going to step forward. Pass some songs. I really like, unfortunately, but two Harlem Shake for cardio. <sighs> All right, friends. As you're ready, start to kick your butt. If you need a break during cardio, listen to your body. Take it. Just sidestep it out. Keep movement going in your body. We do not want to stop cold turkey. But we're only here for a couple minutes, so give it everything you got. High knees. Option for knee pulls or a static knee pull. Take whatever layer you need. Bring your knees as high as you can. Take your high knees to the back of your mat. Watch me first round. It's squat, hop, back, back, back. Squat, hop, back, back, back. Land with bent knees at the top. If this does not feel good on your knees, take a basic squat or a squat hop. Stick with it, y'all. <laughs> Little lanes. Just four. Three. Face me in two. And one will jack out, forward, out, forward. Just four. Three. Skaters in two. And one skaters. Cross. Opposite leg behind. Option to take this super fast like a skip or slow it down, step it out. Just four, three, back to Jackson two, and one regular jack. Option to stay here or turn it into a star jump. Cause you're a star, Margie's a star, Camille's a star. Nina's a star. Kristen's a star. You're all stars. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Just four, three, two, and one. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. If you want more, it's knee to elbow, hand to foot. Knee to elbow, hand to foot. Y'all are amazing. Just four, three, Smurf Jackson, two, and one, get low. Big exhale as you bring it in. You're crushing it, Emmett. Just four, three, two, face me, ballet hops, just a few seconds, get as high as you can. Just four, three, two, and one. Ran out of time there, so I'm sorry slash you're welcome, however you feel about cardio. <sighs> Start to sidestep it out right away. Again, keep gentle movement in your body. You know your heart rate's likely high. We don't want to stop cold turkey. Whew. Intentionally. Slow and steady your breath to help bring your heart rate down. Yeah. 
Get you ready. Add the arms overhead on an inhale. Exhale, bring it down. <sighs> Whew. A few more rounds. Catch your breath. Hmm. I'll bring some fresh air in. Just four. Three. Two. And one. All righty. Grab your heavy set of weights for active recovery or light weights if you want them. Drive your weight into your right foot. And kickstand your left. Arms straight, palms face your body. One legged deadlift. Hinge from your right hip. Keep your shoulder blades together on your back. Micro bend your standing knee. Bring it up. Squeeze your right glute at the top. Flex or point your left toes. Just make sure they're doing something. You don't have to go all the way down to a perfect T-shape by any means. If you're like, Chelsea, I'd like more than that. The bottom of your deadlift at a double row. And then bring it back up. Take this super slow. Again, we are in active recovery mode. Still trying to bring our heart rate down while we work our bodies. Totally natural to wobble and shake out of this one. Building strength, working on balance. But every time you fall out of a posture, those muscles are getting stronger and learning how to do it next time. Just a few more rounds on this side. Just four, three, take your time, finish up your last set in two, and one, come to standing, shake it out. All right, we get two, two sides of our body, how nice, plant your way into your left foot, Kick stand your right, arm straight, hinge from your left hip, flex or point your right, bring it back up, Woo. squeeze your left glute at the top, you did so before. Or even if you didn't and you want more, rotate your palms in. Take a double 90 row at the bottom. Bring it back up. <sighs> really awesome focus, friends. Continue to catch your breath. Strengthening everything in this movement. Keep your core tight. Just a few more rounds inside, and then we have our final flow, and then we'll stretch it out. Just four, three, finish up your final round in two, and one, take your time, finish up. All right, uh, inhale mountain pose, with your weights if you have them, without if you don't. Exhale forward fold, inhale halfway lift, exhale plant your hands, take a vinyasa if you want it, we will meet in downward facing dog. All right, y'all, just one uh, flow, is that word, left. Uh, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Grab your light set of weights, come to standing. Come back to your wide chair like we did at the beginning of class. Elbows to 90 degrees, tricep kick, bend. Exhale, inhale, squeeze, release. Hinge your torso forward, tighten your core. If you want more, option to add a heel lift as you extend.
Really squeeze your calves to press the tops of your feet forward. If you're taking the heel lift, option to alternate one arm at a time. If your upper body needs a break, ditch the weights completely, whatever you need. Big exhale as you extend. Just four, three, hold your weights high in two, and one, hold your weights high behind you, pulse them up, up, pulse, one inch up, one inch down, pulse, pulse, Woo. pulse, just four, three, two, and one, bring your weights to heart center, step your left leg back, lunge, twist right, center, knee drive. Lunge, twist right, center, knee drive. If you want a little more spice, add a full kick at the top. Lunge, twist, center, kick or knee drive. Whether you're kicking or knee driving, flex your left toes when they leave the earth. Big exhale as you twist and exhale as you lift. Stack your front knee over your ankle in your lunge. Stay really high on the ball mound of your back foot. I say it a lot, but it always creates more room for our knee joint. Nobody wants sad knees. Just four, three, crescent in two, and one, step your left leg back, inhale, crescent lunge, press your weight straight up. Exhale, weights through center, open up, warrior two. Keep your warrior legs. Flip your palms up towards the sky. Bicep curl, release. Option for the leg extension or keep your warrior static. Think exhale as you lift and curl. Especially if you're adding the leg extension, check your front knee as you lower back into your lunge. Make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle. Really, really great form, everybody. Y'all are crushing it. Just four, three. Hold your elbows at 90 and two. And one, bent or straight leg, pulse your weights up. Pulse, pulse. Keep your shoulder blades together on your back. Chest and hips face me. Just four, three, two, and one. Warrior, reset. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, pull through center. Pivot, plant, um, what do we have time for? All right, frog hops with the hammer curl. We're just gonna burn out our biceps final flow. We got the lightweights. You lucked out because it was supposed to be donkey kicks. Big exhale at the top. Just four, three, meet at the top of your mat in two, and one, meet at the top of your space, come to standing, <sighs> feet hip width, sit into your wide chair, elbows at 90, this time palms up and in, tricep kick, bend, rotate your palms up, palms in, exhale, inhale, squeeze, release, option to alternate one arm at a time, if you did so before, or if you didn't, option to add the heel lift, as you extend your arms. Big exhale as you extend. We're not here quite as long. Really, really nice focus. Stick with your breath. Just a few more standing moves, you got it. Just four. Three, hold your weights high in two, and one, hold your weights high, palms up, squeeze them in, squeeze, pulse. Just four, three, two, and one, come to standing, weights come to heart center, step your right leg back. It's lunge, twist left, center, knee drive. Lunge, twist, center, and lift. If you did so before, Option to add the full kick. 
Kicking or knee driving, right toes come towards your shin the entire time they're off the earth. Big exhale as you twist and exhale as you kick. Y'all are amazing. Keep crushing it. One more standing move. Yeah, just one. We got it. Just four, three, crescent in two, and one, step your right leg back, inhale, crescent lunge, exhale, weights through center, open up, warrior two, all right, final bicep move, curl, release, exhale, inhale, option for the knee extension as you curl. Check your front knee. Make sure it's not going beyond your ankle. Big exhale as you curl. Option to alternate one arm at a time. That's almost harder though, static hold on one side. Just four, three, elbows to 90 and two. Um, and bring your elbows to 90. Elbows in by your thighs. Serve it out. 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 <sighs> Keep your chest proud. Shoulder blades together on your back. You got this. Serve. 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 Just four. Three. Two. And one. Warrior two. Inhale. Reverse. Exhale. Pull through center. Pivot. Plant. Step back to plank. Put one weight by the right side of your mat. Ditch the other one. From plank, grab your weight from the right with your left hand, put it to the left side. Grab it from the left side with your right hand, place it. Arm crosses your body to grab the weight, place it on that side. Option to take this from your knees. But really focus on the strongest, stablest plank you can. Keep your feet or knees wide to help stabilize your hips. Pull your navel towards your spine. Think cat pose in your upper back. Just four, three, two, and one downward facing dog. Great work. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Drop down to your knees. Swing your legs around. Grab your heavy set of weights. Lay flat on your back. I traded the donkey kicks for a bridge lift, but not the same like terrible one as last time. Press your... Uh, one of these feet into the mat, hip width. Bring your weight to your hip bone. Hip lift, hover. Squeeze, release. Exhale, inhale. Hover your hips at the bottom. We won't, never want to fully release. Press, release. Exhale, inhale. Squeeze and lower. Squeeze your glutes like crazy at the top. Press into your feet to help lift your hips a little higher. Down, squeeze, inhale, exhale, lower, press. Just four, three, hold your hips high in two. And one, hold your hips high, pulse your knees out, out, out. Squeeze your side butt, pulse, squeeze. Stick with your breath, hips a little higher. Yes, you can. Just four, three, back to full range lifts in two, and one, bring it down and press. Inhale, exhale, lower and squeeze. Press, hover. Just four, three, Hold your hips high in two, and one, hold your hips high, hip swivels, bring it right, left. Right, left, right, left. Bring your hips a little higher, yes you can, they're huge muscles, woo! Right, left, swivel, right, left. We'll go back to full range, in four, three, 
two, and one, hover, and press. Lower, lift, inhale, exhale, hover, and squeeze. Big exhale at the top. Lower, press, inhale, exhale, just four, three, <laughs> hold your hips high in two, and one, hold your hips high, bring your knees wide, now squeeze them in, in, final movement, I promise. Hips as high as you can, squeeze it in, 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 squeeze your inner thighs to do so. Squeeze, one inch higher on your hips, you got it, don't give up. Just four, three, two, and one, release. Woo-wee, ditch your weights, maybe windshield wiper your knees. It's always fun. Grab your knees, slice out your little spine. Take some macaroles forward till you come to a seated position. All right. Place your I don't want to do this. Hands behind your body, butt, whatever, fingertips face you. Bring your shins parallel with the mat. It's low boat, crunch it in. Low boat, crunch. Inhale, exhale. Option to stay here, or if you want more, extend your arms out. Extend, crunch. Inhale, exhale. Lower, lift. Keep your spine nice and flat. Just four, three. Lay flat on your back in two. And one, lay flat on your back. Legs go straight up. Flex your toes. Plant your hands by your hips. Swivel, leg lowers. Lift your hips. Toes go to the left. Lower your legs, bring them back up. Lift your hips, swivel to the right, lower your legs. You don't have to go down super far for it to be effective. Press into your palms, stick with it. Just four, three, two. And we'll keep your legs straight up. Interlace your hands behind your head. Crunch your chest down, lift your hips, release. Crunch, hip lift. Take it faster, so. Keep your legs straight and strong. Flex your toes towards your shin. Just four, three, just crunch your chest up in two. Little crunch, 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 crunch. Just four, three, two, straight into bicycles, final movement. Fast or slow, straight legs or bent knees. 15 seconds of push, yes you can. You worked so hard the past 60 minutes. Give yourself these last now 10 seconds of effort. Then we'll stretch it out. Just four, three, two, and one slowest count on the planet. Great job. Full body stretch. Extend your arms and legs. <sighs> Friends at home, we're going to skip forward to Gemini. There's a weird song at the end there, but yeah, Gemini. <sighs> Before we do anything else, give yourself a minute to reset, to express some gratitude for putting in the work. This class. Is not an easy one by design. No one can make you do this but yourself. Once you step through these doors and onto your mat, it's all you making every decision where to be, how to keep going. Get you ready? Pull your knees into center, turn yourself into a tiny little ball. Start to rock side to side. 
massage out through your low spine. Hmm. So on your next exhale, release your hands. Uh, happy baby. Grab the inner or outer edges of your feet. Pull your knees down towards your rib cage on each side of your body. Doesn't matter where your hands make contact as long as your low spine is flat on the earth. Option to straddle one leg or the other, maybe both. One more inhale here. And then next exhale, release. Turn yourself back into a tiny little ball. Start to rock forward and back along the length of your spine. So you come to a seated position. Send your legs out straight in front of you. Move the flesh away from your sit bones. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Reach for something, doesn't matter what it is. Maybe your toes, feet, ankles, calves. You can also interlace your arms beneath your knees. Give yourself three full, deep, slow rounds of breath here. On your third inhale, knock your hands back up, lift your torso. Bring your legs out wide to a V shape. Rotate your pelvis so your hip tips face the earth, sacrum faces the sky. And then start to walk your hands forward. Take whatever level of intensity in the stretch is going to serve you today. One more exhale. On your inhale, start to walk your hands back. Bend your left knee. Bring the sole of your foot inside your right thigh. Inhale your arms overhead. Pivot your torso towards your right toes. Fold in that direction. Again, reach for something. Doesn't matter what it is. Does not have to be your foot. Could be your ankle, calf, hamstring. Rotate your chest down towards your right knee. One more exhale. Your next inhale, start to lift your torso. Bring your right forearm inside your right thigh. Inhale your left arm to the sky, reach overhead in the direction of your right toes, but you most certainly do not have to be touching those. If you are making contact with your foot, great place to be is basket grip behind your head to support your neck. Pull your left side body open. Increase the depth of your inhales to spread through the intercostal muscles between each rib. One more exhale. Inhale, come back through center. Switch out the leg position. Bend your right knee. Sole of your right foot to your inner left thigh. Inhale, your arms overhead. Exhale, pivot towards your left toes. And then forward fold. Again, rotate your chest down towards your knee or your thigh. Breathe into where you feel this. Send every inhale to where you feel the intensity of the stretch in your left hamstring. Stay for one more exhale. Inhale, lift your torso back through center. Bring your left forearm inside your left thigh. Inhale, your right arm to the sky. Side bend towards your left toes. Option to basket grip your head to support your neck. Or if you're making contact with your toes, totally great, but absolutely not necessary. Wherever you are, rotate your heart up farther towards the sky to feel more into your right side body.
Two more rounds of breath here. And the next inhale, come back through center. I straighten out your legs. You give them a little shimmy shake out. Then cross your ankles. Put your hands, step back to downward facing dog. Free to pedal it out once or twice if that feels good. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, runner's lunge. Bring your right foot outside your right hand. Feel free to surf it out. A few rounds of breath. And then when you feel ready, drop down to your left knee. And here you can continue to surf it out, explore movement. I like to roll onto the pinky toe edge of my right foot here. Option to stay on your palms, maybe lower to your forearms. Um, or either from your forearms or your left palm, take the quad stretch, bend your back knee, inhale your right arm up and over, grab for the pinky toe edge of your foot. If you want the quad stretch but are not making contact with your foot, no big deal. Just try to bend your knee. Take whatever you need. If you do have the grip on your foot, again, rotate your heart up farther towards the sky. Take a gentle twist with it. Feel your right shoulder open. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, release the grip of your foot if you have it. Toe heel your right foot in through center. Shift back, half split, right toes towards the sky. Pull your hips back towards your left heel. Full splits as part of your practice. Feel free to take it. If you're with me in half splits, option to stay static. Just reach your nose towards your toes so you're folding both forward and down. Option to rock your toes side to side. Bring some gentle movement into it. Or take your hands to the outer side of your right leg. If you're in full splits, no rush if you want to stay and explore more. But if you're ready, start to come back towards half splits. Everyone stay for one more inhale. Your exhale, shift forward, plant your right foot, lift your left knee, plant your palms, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, runner's lunge, other side. Bring your left foot outside your left palm, drop your right knee, and take any shifts forward, back, side to side that feel good. And then take whatever variation you took on the other side. You can stay right where you are on your palms, great place to be. Drop to your forearms and or take the quad stretch. Bend your back knee. Inhale your left arm up and around. Grab for the pinky toe edge of your foot. Rotate your heart farther towards the ceiling. Peel your left shoulder back. Let your hips sink a little bit deeper towards the mat. Two more rounds of breath. On your next exhale, release your foot if you have it with control. So heel your left foot in through center. Half splits or full splits if you took it on the other side. Perhaps let's shift your hips back towards your right heel. Flex your left toes towards the ceiling. And again, reach forward and down. Option to wiggle your toes side to side. Option to bring both hands towards the outer side of your left leg. Two more rounds of breath, so if you're in full splits, maybe start to wake, make your way back. Yes, if you want to stay, feel free to stay. Stay for one more inhale. You know, exhale, shift forward, bend into your left knee, plant the sole of your foot, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, step back, downward facing dog. If you're ready, drop down to your knee. Swing your legs around. Lay flat on your back.
Hug your knees in towards center. Turn yourself into a tiny little ball. Give yourself a couple more rocks or sways if it feels good. Friends, we have plenty of time in Shavasana, so if there's any additional postures you would like to seal in your practice before you find rest, please feel free to take it. Otherwise, give yourself the biggest squeeze ever. Engage all of your muscles. And then release final Shavasana. Arms and legs come out wide. Palms face up. Let yourself just melt here. Take this opportunity to integrate everything that just happened in your body into your mind. Make mental notes, mental integration, how strong you are, how willing to keep pushing you are, how capable you are. We have plenty of time. I'll let you know when it's time to come back. Sculptors, if you'd like to stay here longer in stillness, please feel free to do so. If you are ready to get on with your Sunday morning, start small by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Slowly bring life back to your body. Let the movement grow through your ankles and your wrists. And then on your inhale, sweep your arms overhead for a full body stretch. And then exhale, roll to one side or the other in a supported fetal position using your freshly sculpted bicep as a pillow. And then only as you feel ready, come to a comfortable seated position with your eyes closed or your gaze soft and your hands at heart center. This is a truly special place and a uniquely special practice that we have here place where we could show up authentically ourselves, no matter where on our journey we are physically, mentally, or emotionally. So thank you so much for showing up as you and as no one else 
meeting yourself where you are, but continuing to push yourself to always get stronger physically, emotionally, and mentally. Thank you for being a part of the community, and thank you for letting me lead you this morning. So you're ready, shift your thumbs to your third eye. In gratitude, we bow. Namaste. Namaste. Um, really great work, friends. Um, I'm not certain. Uh, I've been having a tough time with some stuff, so I might take a little teaching break just for a week, two max. Um, so if you see any classes that you, this one Tuesdays, or if you come to my power classes, um, if you see Tay or someone else on there, know that that is very temporary. Um, just trying to reset so I can be here fully present for you guys. Uh, so yeah, no worries if you see a different name, like what's going on. Um, I'll be back uh, very, very soon. Probably just one weekend span to take a little time away. So, um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming as always. Um, pet photo wall is going to be my favorite thing in the world. It already is, but as it continues to fill, if you have pets you want to share with us, uh, nothing better than seeing some cuties out there. Bring a little serotonin, serotonin boost after yoga as well. Um, but yeah, any questions, feedback about class, anything else going on, please don't hesitate, hesitate to let me know. I will be out front uh, as you guys leave. So thank you so much. Me too. How convenient. Mm -hmm. Friends at home, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend.